The other day, my coworker and friend Brandon Brown asked me to assess him a little bit, see if we could progress his uh, mobility reset exercises along. And I worked with him for an hour to an hour and a half and got absolutely nowhere. Uh, so we tried a bunch of exercises. They seemed to look good. He was getting um, inhibition in the places that I was looking for. He's getting expansion when he was taking his breath cycles, but he wasn't seeing any mobility changes when I was retesting him. And I'm thinking, what gives? And then Bill's physical therapy intern comes out and says, hey, we've got earplugs now. And knowing that Brandon almost has no hearing in his left ear, I decide, well, let's go try that. And uh, this video that you're about to see is the result of some testing that we did with him. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, hey, Mike, can I just a video time. Idea? What am I doing? Go test his that extra drop for me. But isn't he just so patho? I don't think he's gonna go. He's a pretty path bro. Yeah. Oh. Not bad. Oh. Nice this one. literally works like five minutes ago. So uh, Brandon doesn't have a lot of ear hearing. Earring. Doesn't have a lot of hearing. He's got plenty of earring. Yeah. Look at those gauges. Doesn't have a lot of hearing in his left ear. Oh, I mean. I know, you already know it's going to be negative. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. <laughs> I, as soon as I picked your leg up, I can tell the difference. Yeah. Isn't it, it amazing? It feels back way easier, it feels like. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. As soon as I picked you up and started moving you back, I'm like, oh, that's going to change. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, patient. You want to try an exercise? I want, I want to see. Huh. It's the same. Well, I, I've been working with him for an hour and 15 minutes. So and we got nothing. <laughs> Tell Trevor Rappa, oh, yeah. I, it's the shirt. We're gonna have to plug them. Pretty cool stuff, right? So what's really happening here? Well, Brandon's sensory input from his ears is biased. If he has sounds on his left side, he has to turn his head to the left so that he can hear with his right ear. That turns on a right sternocleidomastoid, and that sternocleidomastoid is going to pull his body over here to the right. If you think it's not just connected to the uh, temporal bone down here, it's also connected to the rib cage. And so we get this feedback pulling me over to the right, bringing me as a right-sided human being over to the right so that I can better utilize my right diaphragm. Now, what happens is we put this earplug in his right ear and we even out that bias, and now he can access his left side again. Very cool stuff. Um, it's not magic, it's just a little bit of an input into the nervous system, right? It's not a long-term solution, but it might be something that we need to consider when we try to force him into motions that he's not able to attain. Maybe he can't attain those because he has a sensory input that he can't deal with.